Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Now, this spell is particularly for those that are trying to reconnect, rekindle, strengthen the unionship, or bring a person to you. If there's been some type of separation, some type of ending, this spell is definitely going to assist you. Now, for those of you guys that are single and are trying to bring love in, this is definitely a spell that you can do as well. I will guide you through the ingredients and I will also guide you how to do one or the other. Okay, what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing a blood candle. Uh, what blood candles are, they're basically a candle with two different colors as it continues to burn. It almost gives it the illusion of, of, of bleeding. So uh, if you don't have that, you can substitute it for a white candle or a pink candle. Now you're also going to be needing two pink pieces of paper. Now, can you substitute it? Yes, you can use white if you just cannot find pink paper. Ideally, I recommend you to use pink though. Uh, this carries a very strong vibra uh, vibration and it's definitely going to impact uh, and influence the results. So again, yes, you can substitute it for white paper, but I would suggest for you to stick with pink if possible. Okay. You're also going to be needing a black marker. You're going to be needing a glass. Uh, as you guys can see here, we're going to be using this one. You can use any type of glass. It does not matter. Um, you're also going to be needing toothpick uh, sticks, as you can see here. And you're going to be needing honey. You're going to be needing honey, pineapple, two cherries, and cinnamon powder. Okay? Now, what you're also going to be needing is, again, like I said, a candle. If you don't happen to have a, a blood candle, like I said, you can substitute it for a white or pink candle. But you're also going to be needing a... Uh, a candle of St. Uh, Simon. Now, if you don't happen to have a candle for St. Simon or one that is specifically for him, uh, you can always offer him a yellow uh, or white candle. Um, just make sure to consecrate it and, uh, you know, speak out loud or enchant it out loud, stating that it is directly in connection with your working that you're about to commence with St. Simon asking for his protection, for his guidance, for his strength into your witchcraft or into your spell work, okay? Okay, so the reason why it's important to use a St. Simon candle is because this is a ritual that is specifically dedicated to him uh, when we're trying to attract love or when we're trying to uh, bring a person where there's been some type of separation or some type of breakup, okay? All right, so... Let's get down to the needy greedy. As you guys can see, I've already uh, took you guys down for uh, the ingredients. Now I'm going to take you step by step how to do this. Oh, before I forget, you're also going to be needing some type of red wine. It could be any type of wine. Uh, sorry, any type of red wine. It doesn't have to be a specific. Just remember, uh, the sweeter, the better. Um, as you guys can see here, this is uh, specifically... Uh, worked. I use some wine and these are uh, prepared infusions for my clients. So like I said, you can use any type of red uh, red wine. Just make sure that the sweeter, the better it is uh, for you guys. Okay. All right. So what we're going to be doing is um, you're going to be using the pink pieces of paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to write down Also, before I forget, you're also going to be needing a needle, as you guys can see here. I'm not sure if you can see it right. Um, maybe you can see it better here. Okay, so we're going to use it to be uh, pinning both papers together. All right, so let me move this to the side. Now, this spell is very, it's a very simplistic spell, but it gives you amazing results. Uh, not only with specific individuals, but this can also be used to draw in love. So if you're doing this for a partner and for yourself, what you're going to do is you're going to write down 
your information. You guys already know. First name, last name, and your date of birth, okay? That's gonna be your info. Now you're gonna put partner's information here. And their date of birth, like this, okay? Now, if you're doing this for a partner, for your partner to bring him back, uh, to rekindle the relationship, to reconnect, to reconcile. Um, what you're going to do is on your piece of paper, once you put your information and your date of birth, you're going to turn it to the right. And what you're going to do is you're going to write down words that are very empowering for you. So as an example, you can put self-love. You can put strong. You can put, um, mm, what other words? Anything that empowers you. So the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to infuse both you and your partner's energies combined together. Now, because you're trying to draw them in or because you're trying to, you know, bring them towards you, towards your path, to give you the opportunity to reconnect or reconcile, um, you want to make sure that you're the one that's most empowered in the spell. So when we put words that are empowering to ourselves, like self-love, that's going to make you feel more confident in yourself. It's going to make you feel more in control. Uh, it's going to make you feel more excited about the future about yourself, about how you carry yourself. If you put strong, it's going to make you, um, you know, it, it's going to not only empower, but it's going to make you believe more in yourself. It's going to make you more confident, more, you know, raising your vibration. Um, and of course, when we get into their working, I will tell you guys what to do. Now for here, like I said, you can put self-love, you can put strong, you can put love myself. Uh, you can put um, confident. Okay. All right. That's for your paper. So I'm going to take you guys again, your information, your date of birth, your first name, last name, date of birth. Then you're going to turn it to the right. And you're going to be writing down all the words that are going to empower you or everything you want to imitate, everything you want to bring into uh, this process of the spell work. Self-love, strong, you love yourself, uh, you're confident, you're radiant, you're excited. Anything like that is what you're going to be writing, okay? And again, this, uh, because we're, you know, emerging both energies of you and the partner, we want to make sure that they are more docile than, than you are. Uh, we don't want, has it ever happened to you guys where you do a spell work and it almost feels like you're the one that's obsessed or you're the one that's constantly thinking of them or you're the one that's become weaker to them. Um, a lot of the times, depending on, of course, it has a lot to do with the way you go into the spell work, meaning your state of mind. Um, but you also want to give it that extra push uh, to give you the upper hand. So we always have to or want to use empowering words for ourselves, okay? All right, so with the partner's information, that's their first name, last name, and date of birth. So we're going to turn it to the right, and we're going to write down our name, our last name, and date of birth, okay? So this is your information, and you're going to write it down three times, okay, like this. All right, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it again to the right. And what you're going to do here is you're going to write a petition, but it's not necessarily in a sentence form. What you're going to put is... As an example, more loving, thinks of me constantly,
wants to be around me all the time. And if you're doing this to reconcile, you're going to put has the need and desire to want to reconnect or give it another go or reconcile our relationship, okay? All right, so once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to get both papers and you're going to put them together. Before we do that, by the way, they have to be facing each other. But before we do that, what you're going to do is on their information, uh, your partner, your target's information, what you're going to do is you're going to spit on the piece of paper. So as an example, I spit in his information. Then you're going to put both papers together. You're going to get the needle and you're going to make a hole and then go back up like this, okay, so that it is like this. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. Okay. Once that is done, you're going to put it or introduce it in the glass. All right. So for those of you guys that are doing this for uh, to bring new love in, what you're going to do is you are going to be writing down you're still going to be using two pieces of paper with one you're going to put your information uh your information your date of birth you're going to do the same process you're going to turn it to the right and what you're going to do here is you're going to uh sorry this is the wrong one uh so what you're going to do is the same process you're going to put uh empowering words uh self-love uh strong uh, you can put um, giving, uh, you can put confident, uh, any words that you connect with that you feel like they empower you. That's what you're going to be doing on yours. Now, for the partner's information, obviously you don't have a specific target. You're trying to bring new love in. So that's exactly what you're going to be putting here. You're going to put new love or my new love. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn it to the right and you're going to put your information, your first name, last name, date of birth, three times going down the same process. You're going to turn it to the right again and you're going to write down qualities that you want this person to have or to possess. So uh, as an example, and like I said, not in a sentence construction, but more words. We're using words here. So you're going to put loving, uh, caring, understanding, whatever it is that you're looking for in a partner. Now, if, you know, having a partner that is financially stable is important to you, you would put financially stable. If you are, you know, if you have preference in, you know, their appearance or how they physically look, you can put, um, as an example, tall and strong or short and um, I don't know, charismatic, anything like that. Uh, basically what you're doing is you're aligning yourself to your petition, connecting with really with what really excites you about a partner and individual. So once that is done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna spit on the partner's information and you're gonna put them both together and we're gonna bring them in with the needle like I showed you guys, okay? All right, so let me do this really quick just so I can get it out the way. All right, so it's going to look something like this. Once this is done, you're going to introduce it to the, to the glass. Okay, now we're going to get the candle, the blood candle that you're using, or if you're just using a regular white or pink candle, what you're going to do is you're going to get the toothpicks. Uh, you can use one in particular to write down or to inscribe your information and your partner's information. Now, if you're doing this to bring love in, new love, uh, you're going to put your information and 
over your information, you're going to put new love or new lover or new partner or new boyfriend, okay? Once that is done, what we do is we're going to get five, <clears throat> sorry, seven, uh, seven uh, toothpicks and you're going to prick the candle at the bottom as you can see here. And we're going to be doing this. Uh, this ritual is a seven day ritual. And that's why we have the seven day candle with St. Simon here. Um, so you're going to prick it with seven toothpicks. And this is going to go up in the glass like this. And that's how when it starts to burn and melt, it's going to go into the paper and into the wine um, linking or tying uh, the energies. Okay. All right. So once you have that, you can put that to the side. Of course, make sure to, uh, ritualize and consecrate the candles before using them. Um, for time purposes, we've already done all of that. Okay. So this is my client's information here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the pineapple. Now you have two options. You can make like, uh, add pineapple in pieces, or I myself prefer to use them just as they are. So I'm gonna get a few and introduce them on top of the paper. Uh, you guys can use two, three, or four. I work in threes, you guys, so I'm gonna be using three. Oh, this smells so amazing i love pineapple all right so once that is done you're going to be adding a little bit of the juice then we're going to add some of the cinnamon now you don't need very much of it i particularly uh do <laughs> use a lot only because, okay, so the reason why we're using pineapple, pineapple is something that we offer St. Simon. It is also um, a fruit uh, that is highly used for to amansar, which is to make someone more docile towards you. And the cinnamon, obviously, to entice, uh, to strengthen, uh, to increase the passion and the intensity of the relationship. Uh, it is fire element, so it really ignites that passion. Now, the cherries are just a representation of your love. So we're going to be using two. One for you and one for the partner. Oh my God, you guys need to smell this. It smells freaking amazing. Um, now, for those of you guys that are doing this to draw in new love, when you are, as you guys can see here, I'm rubbing the cherries with the cinnamon. When you're doing this, really consecrate, sorry, consecrate, really concentrate, um, really concentrate in what you're doing. And basically see the cherries and the cinnamon as uh, you drawing in, increasing uh, the love, the attraction, um, helping you as well uh, to become more magnetically, more magnetically attracted to the opposite sex. Now, if you guys are doing for same sex, this can be done. Uh, for, you know, um, for gays as well. You can do this as well. Um, no ingredients are changed, okay? So it doesn't matter your sex. It doesn't matter if you're into girls or into guys, uh, vice versa, whatever. Uh, you can do this for any um, sexual orientation. Okay, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is I'm going to be adding some of the ritualized wine. Okay, and now we're going to add, whoops, we're going to add the honey. 
make sure that when doing the honey you guys you go in a circle okay why a circle because we are drawing in you love if you're doing this for your partner you are basically creating a circle of love uh i.e cheating binding <laughs> Uh, where he will be drawn or she will be drawn to you, okay? So once this is done, give me one second. Thank you, Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. This is working for my client. St. Simon, I ask you to be present to empower and strengthen this unionship so that they may be able to experience a happy, fulfilling, prosperous relationship. Perfect trust and in perfect love. Bless thee. All right, so once that is done, my lovelies, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the candle at the top. We're going to light it. And we're also going to keep St. Simon's candle next to this work. Now, when we light the candle of St. Simon, uh, you can, I'll probably link you guys a prayer on the, uh, below the description. But if I don't, you guys can look up, uh, you guys can look up his prayer online. Or as I find, um, I find that he connects more with those that uh, speak to him in a very personal and loving way. So as an example, you can light his candle and you can say, Saint Simon, I ask you to be present in this working that is about to commence. I ask you to bless with your hand this work for my, for me and my partner, and you would say their, their first name, last name, date of birth. I ask you to assist and empower to give me fast lightning results to the best of both our interest in perfect trust and in perfect love, blessed be. Now, if you're going to do this in Spanish, uh, you would say something like, San Simón, te pido que te mantengas aquí, que te mantengas a mi derecha y que seas tu padre, San Simón, quien me ilumine y me guíe en este trabajo que voy a comenzar para mí y mi pareja. Te pido que pongas tu santa mano de poder para que pueda ver resultados lo más pronto posible. Siempre en nombre tuyo, mi San Simón, así sea. Once you're done, what you do is you light his candle, you light this candle, and you're going to let it burn out. Now, keep a watchful eye with this candle. Do not allow it to consume past the toothpicks, okay? Very important. Once this is done, what you're going to do, the remaining one or two inches of the wax with the toothpicks are going to go into this, and you're going to continue burning this. Once this is done, you can... Once the, the candle of St. Simon is done, you can toss these things out. Doesn't matter how you dispose of them. Um, and just remember, when you start to see results, when you start to see movement and progress, uh, you have to offer something in gratitude to St. Simon. So ideally, you would offer him a bread. You would offer him um, a candle. You would offer him a cigar, a cigarette whatever it is, a tequila shot, whatever it is that you have, uh, make sure to show him gratitude. Because if you don't, I guarantee you, um, even if you, even if there's been a reconciliation, he'll remember that. And if he'll give you time, but if you don't, if you don't reciprocate, he will take that from you. So again, um, now for those of you guys that are doing this for new love and new romance, as you guys can see, it's very simple. It's the same steps. The only thing is, um, you know, switching out the personal information to my boyfriend, my lover, um, my new partner. Uh, but it's the same process. So once this is done, like I said, you can toss this out, this candle, um, you'll let it burn out completely. It's a seven day candle. Now, if it burns out before seven days, this is an amazing omen. This is St. Simon telling you he's giving you results quicker than expected. If it takes longer than seven days, it means that he's removing blockages that may be currently influencing that connection. So be patient, 
and show gratitude, like I said, when you start to see movement. Okay, my lovelies? I hope you guys enjoyed this very simplistic and easy spell to do. I hope it gives you amazing results, and we'll see each other soon. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye.